The crowd wasn't gathered for a keynote. They weren't there for a product launch either. They came for a fight. At the 2025 World Artificial Intelligence Conference in Shanghai, something historic happened. Not one, but two humanoid boxing matches. And no, this wasn't Hollywood. This was real. Real machines. Real punches. Robot versus robot. And then, robot versus human in a mechanical exosuit. What unfolded inside that ring wasn't just a spectacle. It was a powerful glimpse into the physical future of AI. Let's break it down. The first match featured two of Unitree Robotics' most advanced creations. The G1 humanoid robot, squaring off in a live exhibition bout. In the red corner, a G1 bot outfitted with bright red highlights. In the green corner, its twin rival, accented in neon green. Each robot stood 1.32 meters tall, weighed around 35 kilograms, and was powered by custom high-torque motors, ultra-fast perception systems, and AI control algorithms built for dynamic physical interaction. When the bell rang, the red bot opened strong. It advanced quickly, one-two jabs, coordinated footwork, weight shifting with near-human fluidity. But the green bot didn't just absorb the hits. It read them. It sidestepped, countered with a stiff right hook, and reset its posture with shocking balance. These weren't just mechanical movements. They were reactive, real-time, and visibly calculated. Every punch, every shift of weight, every block was driven by real-time AI. Vision modules scanning opponent movement. Imitation learning mimicking professional fighter posture. And motor control that kept both bots upright through fast-paced, full-contact action. Then came the turning point. The green bot lunged too far on a counter-strike. The green bot stumbled, wobbled, and dropped to the mat. But this wasn't defeat. It was evolution. Within seconds, the fallen robot used its limbs to brace, shifted its core, and pushed itself back upright, all autonomously. The crowd erupted. What we witnessed wasn't a choreographed dance. It was two fully autonomous machines adapting, fighting, and recovering on the fly. And for a moment, it felt less like a demonstration and more like a preview of robotic sports. But then, things got even more real. The green G1 wasn't done yet. Moments later, it re-entered the ring, this time to face a new kind of opponent. A human pilot wearing the Skeletonics fighter, a black and yellow powered exoskeleton that turns human movement into towering robotic strikes. This wasn't an autonomous robot, it was man and machine fused. The match began slowly. The green G1 moved cautiously, sensor scanning, AI recalibrating. The human, now towering thanks to the exosuit, mirrored its stance, arms rising like a mech ready for battle. Then a flurry. The G1 advanced with machine-like precision, throwing light punches, testing reactions. The human swayed, dodged, and with the help of the exosuit, delivered wide, amplified punches that looked straight out of a sci-fi film. At one point, the human teased the robot, stepping back with exaggerated showboating provoking the G1 into a sudden rush. But the robot overcommit. The exosuit-wearing human swung with perfect timing. Impact. Stagger. Collapse. KO. But this wasn't just a victory lap. It was a message. Humans and machines are no longer on opposite sides. They're learning to interact, to compete, and to augment one another in ways we've never seen before. What this really means. From robot versus robot precision to human-machine hybrid combat, WAIC 2025 delivered a live-action vision of the next frontier in robotics. These weren't props. They were working prototypes showing what's possible when real-time AI, robotics, and human augmentation come together. Not just in labs, but on public stages. And this is just the beginning. For more cutting-edge breakthroughs in robotics, humanoids, and real-world AI, subscribe to RoboFrontier. We bring you the machines that move, fight, adapt, and change the future. This is Robo Frontier, and the frontier just got physical.